Hey, Vir hey Virgos, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for you guys for what shadows are the person that you're dealing with, um, dealing with, okay? This could be for Virgos, um, for your person, or if you're cross-watching for a Virgo. This is the first time I'm using this tarot deck I purchased. It's called the Intuitive Night Goddess Tarot. It's so beautiful. I got it on Etsy. I did use it on my TikTok already, but you guys are the first um, sign that I'm using it with, so it might take me a minute to interpret some of the cards, but um, let's see what's coming up for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. What are the shadow energies around you and your person? What are the shadows that your person is dealing with? Hmm, that's weird. Okay. Okay, so Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Okay, we've got the Wayfarer. Of course, this is a card that I don't know. So I'm going to look it up. Uh, I should know, oh, here we go, okay. This is the Lover's card, all right? So you could be dealing with a Gemini. This is something regarding um, love this person is dealing with, what they want in a relationship. They could maybe be indecisive, they could have multiple people, they could be really thinking about truly what it is that they want when it comes to love, okay? Um, they could be pulled in multiple directions. And then we've got the mystic, which is the hierophant. So um, I feel this is like a big thing that they're thinking about. This is Taurus energy. You could be dealing with a Taurus. Uh, they're really trying to, um, you know, this. I'm just looking at what she wrote for the mystic. The hidden and the seen invites us to explore our conscious and subconscious selves. Yeah, so I feel like they're really trying to get in touch with like who they are and how they're going to express themselves in a love dynamic here. They want to really be authentic to themselves, but they could be going through some confusion when it comes to that. Yeah, well, we, we're talking about shadows here. So we've got three of swords. So um, I feel they may have been heartbroken in the past or they could have some heartbreak from their childhood that kind of has a big part in their relationships. Um, they could be disappointed by something. They could feel like they're not fulfilled when it comes to love, okay? And we've got two of swords. I, it was reverse. I don't always take reversals. So I feel like they're kind of confused. I definitely feel like their mind is in multiple directions. They're not sure which way to go. Um, their heart could be very broken. It could be making things very blurry for them. But I feel this person is trying to overcome whatever hurdles it has. You know, it could be some issues with intimacy. So we'll get more into the clarity on that with the Soul Activation Shadows deck, okay? So let's get into that, Virgo. What are these shadows here that are coming up? What are the shadows of the person Virgo is dealing with? This is Soul Activation um, Oracle Shadows Edition from Rising Sun Oracle. This is also her bracelet. I have a bunch of her bracelets. That's the bear claw. Okay. So what are the shadows of this person? I'll take these. I got four. Okay. We've got Judgmental, Greedy. This is Root. This is Solar Plexus. We've got Skeptical. And we've got righteous. I feel this person kind of has an ego issue, to be honest. And I feel that's their block to intimacy. Um, as long as they keep themselves above everyone else, they keep themselves kind of restricted from intimacy, then they're safe. And they use all of these like critical aspects of righteousness and putting themselves above and putting money and focusing on all these things. It's like, I feel like what they really want is love, but they're actually really scared of it and they're keeping themselves away from it that's like a very clear message we've got two solar plexus energy which i feel in a weird way they're very disempowered but they do things to um make them feel empowered but it's not really working because at the end of the day i feel like they're very lonely i feel like they're very cut off here okay so let's see from rising sun oracles soul food oracle some other clarity messages on here got two that just flew out meat pie and bacon wow this is very um 
it's interesting because when I, I pulled these two for another reading and I was thinking about the heart and meat of the situation, but with you guys, I feel this is more, this person even could struggle with their weight. Like this is a lot of fatty kind of energy, a lot of hefty, could be that they're, they're carrying a heavy load. Okay. Um, that they have a lot of emotional heaviness with them. I, I'm getting this, like it's, it's rich. It's like this it's too much. Like they've got a lot of baggage. Okay. So, um, it's not healthy either, but what they really need to do is make some healthier decisions. It says, please take care of me. Look at this corn dog. This could even be someone from somewhere in the world that eats like a big, a lot of meat. Okay. I was thinking like the Midwest and the U S but, um, my life is a magnificent ride. Give me room to vent. I would like some more, please. Yeah, I feel this person might cope with substances a lot, like indulging with food to um, deal with their emotions. And that keeps actually them more um, disconnected from intimacy as well. I think they might have a relationship here with food, but it's actually making them sick. They could even have an eating disorder you don't know about, okay? Not to, like, put things in your head that are not true, but I'm just saying this might resonate with you guys, okay? So let's get to the heart of the matter with the heart and soul love oracle. What is this person really feeling that deep down within them, okay? What do they want to say? What are they feeling? What are they going through here? rise love has many colors sometimes it's gray when our heart has been broken and sometimes you need to rise above the challenges to find clarity to see the vibrancy of life and the love it brings us i feel like they're trying to get over this okay this could person could be very into music that could be the way that they get out of their funk that could be the the connection you guys have we have so much chaos going on throughout the world I have to tune it out when it gets to be too much. Before I know it, I'm in my own little world where it's just me, my thoughts, my music, and songs that uplift me, songs that call me because it's about us. You are the rhythm in my heart. Yeah, so at the end of the day, there's like a soft spot for you. I feel like even with this corn dog, it's kind of like on the inside, it's different than the outside. Um, but they're trying to rise above their their blockages. I feel this person could be becoming very aware of what's going on with them and they could be really trying hard because we do have like all these hefty fatty things, but then we do have chicken soup. So I feel like they're just kind of maybe they could have just like had a recent tower moment and now they're really addressing it, but it's like a long road to go and they have a lot of confidence that they need to uh, build up here for themselves. Okay. All right, so Virgo, I hope that reading resonated with you guys. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. It will mean a lot to me. Comment, say hello, and I always try to comment back to new subscribers. Thank you guys for being here, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.